All right, we're going to begin this build with the foot. Uh, I've already got one built here. Um, it's actually quite interesting build. I mean, as you can see, there's quite a few pieces in here, more than I was expecting. Uh, this is actually that is one piece, but um, yeah, I mean, uh, the only issue I have with it is on this green piece, there's some really bad nub marks that just I don't know if you'll be able to get rid of or not. Take some cleaning up to do, but unlike a lot of them, this is actually a separate piece. Come on, focus. There we go. See? It's actually a very interesting build. So, um, let's get started. Uh, this will be kind of weird because I'm kind of watching myself through the um, camera. But. So. Starts with that PC piece. Um, I don't know what exactly the number was. But, and then goes on top of this. Like so. And then this is the piece I was talking about. Um, I think I may have actually left the nubs on this just to show you. No, that's not a nub. Okay, but yeah. See what I'm saying? Kind of hard to get these really clean. But then that is just going to connect to right there. Again, not zooming. I mean, not focusing very well. And then we got the back of the heel. Which will go right there. Which I may need to take this back off. I can't remember how it. Okay, and then we got these two pieces, which will be the ankle joint. But uh, this gets one of the ball and the ball eh, caps. And then. This goes together like so. I missed a nub mark. Let me get rid of that. Let me do it off camera so I can actually see what I'm doing. But I. So here it is. This bottom. The bottom. Um, nipple, I guess we can call it, axle. So it's going to go into the PC joint on the ankle or the foot, and then this one up here is where the uh, top of the foot's going to go. Which I'm going to go ahead and install that now. It's just a hole and a peg. That's the word I was looking for a peg. And then line it up and then push it all together. And then now it is going to slide in here. So yeah, you can totally build it without, I mean, with putting this the heel on first. I don't know why my camera won't zoom without my hand being here. I guess we're so far away. But here we've got the toe, which just slides in place. So, oh, sorry. So there we go. Two feet. So let's move on to the lower legs. And we will build those. Alright. Here we are with the lower leg. And it's a very simple build. It starts with this piece. Just kind of like the internal frame. And that is the thruster that comes out the back. Um, I actually like to start with the back and um, these grooves will just slide in here 
Uh, there we are. Like I said, it's very difficult to do this um, behind a camera lens. And then the front half will then go on. Maybe. Alright. Take two. We will put the front on first. There we go. Alright, there we go. Then we will put the back on. Like so. Um, I left nubs on this because I'm going to clean them up um, later. I'll probably glue this together. Clean it up really good. Then in the back here where the thruster is, this little cover goes on here. And then finally, there's a little Come on. There we are. Which we'll just plug in right here. Alright, well. We're having technical difficulties. Ah, there we go. Another thruster, which obviously will have to be painted a little bit, but not too bad. But, all right, let us move on. All right, next we have the knee joint and the upper leg. Um, these are two separate pieces, but I'm just gonna. Oh, oh, maybe I shouldn't hit my table. All right, let's try this again. Um, here we've got the knee and the upper leg. Very simple builds, but really interesting techniques um, let's start with the upper leg I remember which end it wants one two to start with um maybe it doesn't matter but you've got your ball joint poly cap for up here there we go it goes in like so and then this little piece I find it much easier to start it in the back oh we missed it there we are so there we go oh let me trim that That should do it. And then now the two halves will go together. There we go. And so now we have our two upper legs. So we'll put them right there. Now we'll build the knee. Uh, it's definitely easier to start with the end that has the protrusion. Um, hopefully there's not too much noise in the background. I'm watching Caprica on TV, and I got the front door open because it's a pretty day outside. And apparently we're having my cat coming over here too now. Hey, Smokey. And then down in here, this little poly cap will slide in. Nope. Let's try that again. There we go. Now it's in. Oh, Lord, I missed another nub. One second. All right, I thought I cleaned all these up because I missed some. But yeah, I'm sorry if there's some noise. That's what the noise is. But all right. And then, of course, now the two halves are going to fit together. Which apparently, I haven't cleaned up the other side either. But uh, we'll worry about that. Um, yeah, let me take care of that. And a lot of people are wondering why I don't use an X-Acto knife. I just, I don't know. I do not like, I don't like X-Acto knives. I find this fits my big hands better. Come on. 
There it is. Alright. And then this will actually... I gotta get used to this camera. Um, it only fits one way. So it must be this way. No? Alright, I found the right way. And then once you do, it goes together just like that. And then, this will connect into this, like so. The same here. Let's see here. So yeah, it'd be it like this. So let's bring in the lower half of the foot. Which I have attached the ankles to, or the you know bottom of the feet. Uh oh, hold on, power cables. Alright. And here are the power cables. Unlike a lot of other ones, I remember them being like flexible. These are not flexible. But uh there's two ends to it, and the one that's this shape goes in the top. It'll go in right there, and then the foot will just slide inside, and then this piece, little push, poop, goes in. Just like that. So actually, I think you can just, oh, of course my big hands are in the way. I believe you can actually just, uh, alright, this is kind of back a little bit, right, there we go, what I was going to say is I don't think you have to, you can just put it together after you've assembled the foot, there we go, so there we go, there's the two feet, do look very nice especially once they get some paint on them and get detailed up a little bit 